Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. So let's talk about the Gambia and the fine chocolate brothers that live out there, younger ones, who live in more of an impoverished situation, some without even running water or plumbing. But with all of their fineness, there have been reports of American women and British women, European women, all older women, who are packing up and moving to the Gambia to get with these men. We're going to talk about five African-American women and one Black woman from the UK who have since been deleted after moving there to make a life for themselves. Take a look at what Andrea Martin, who is one of the Black sisters from America, who has is since deceased, was involved with a man in the Gambia, and she's going to talk about um, her experience and also share, I guess, a cautionary tale about American sisters who are electing to move out to the Gambia. Take a look at this. I'm here today to talk about uh, the domestic violence that is taking place on the continent that no one seems to be talking about. A lot of folks come on talking about relationships and dating on the continent, but there are situations where sisters are coming over here and dating Gambian men and realizing that they not, they're not who they thought they were, okay? So that representative has left the building. After, uh, I guess, a few days, weeks, they find out that the individual that they're with is possessive, unstable, physically aggressive. Um, these individuals, when they are told they no longer want to see these men, are being abused. So Sister Andrea has shared what goes on with domestic violence with some of the men from the Gambia. And I will say, not all of them are like this. Just like I will also say that not all American sisters are moving out to the Gambia to get with young chocolate Gambian men. Take a look at what she says about her experience with one of the men from the Gambia that she was dealing with. From the time you get your feet on the ground, and I'm talking from the airport, people already have their eyes on you, okay? They know what area you're going to. It's been reported where you're going to be living. Um, there'll be that one person that thinks, well, I'm going to be the person to get that individual because that's going to be my cash cow. Hit me today because I was like, I have a stalker. I have a stalker and I haven't told anyone. Straight up, you a demon. I see who you are. I see your sexual preferences. I see your be I see all of you. It's in the tiles. When I do what a divination, I can see you. So me seeing who you are knows that I don't want nobody like you around me. I know what my journey is and my journey does not include anybody energy harvesting off of me trying to be part of my legacy, trying to steal what I'm trying to build. I don't want nobody like that around me. They would even have people that try to get you to drink or eat from them. Let me tell you, I don't eat from places no more. Ever since I realized that this individual was stalking me, I said, you know what? I don't see him, but I know he is watching me. And sure enough, what he was doing was hiring the people that are working around me. There's three houses being constructed around me. He's hiring the construction workers and having them watch me and report when I am leaving, when I'm coming back. When I would go to walk in the woods, I would feel like someone is following me. Mind you, I'm always alone. So that's probably not the best thing either. 
I know everybody, but I move by myself. So Sister Andrea talks about the relationship starting off, you know, great. And then as time went on, she came to realize that he wasn't the man she thought he was. And she also mentions that he was the devil. And so when she tried to break things off with him, as you can hear her saying, he became a stalker and was able to have people within the Gambia watching her and reporting back to him. Now let's take a look at another sister by the name of Shakina Chinedu, who has recently been unalived. I believe this happened on February 14th. And she's going to talk about what she does in the Gambia and how she feels about why she made the decision to move to the Gambia. Take a look. I live here in the Gambia. I'm representing the African Diaspora Returnees Association. And we are a group of people who have returned to live in Gambia uh, because we see ourselves as Africans. So I'm representing that group. Why did you make the decision, knowing that Africa has a history of political instability, a history of backwardness in terms of economy, corruption and all that, you left the life that you lived in probably in the Caribbean or in the UK or somewhere in America to come and live in the Gambia? Wow, you made some sweeping statements there. Political instability, you know, uh, poor economy. That's not the Africa that I see. That's the Africa that the BBC and the CNN tells us about. Africa's our home as black people, and we have to make it what it is. If you think the West was paved with gold, it wasn't. I was born in the UK, but I was always made to know I was never uh, accepted there as a black person. So you see the difference. You know, even though I was born there and I should be able to say, yes, it was wonderful there, but it wasn't. The discrimination is still there. My parents faced it in the 60s. I faced it, you know, as I was growing up. My children are facing it. It's not changing for us. So it's imperative that we come home and we build Africa so that we don't make the statements that you made about the political instability, the poorness. Africa is a rich continent and everybody else can see that except us. This is why other people are coming here but we're not coming here. So we need to come here and we need to enjoy the fruits of Africa. So Sister Shakina also talks about, as you heard, her reasoning for moving to the Gambia. This is another woman who was very successful in the Gambia, was buying land and properties, um, who has since been unalived. Take a look at what the authorities in the Gambia have to say. We would just give just um, a brief fact regarding uh, the case of uh, Sakina Chenedu. She was reported missing on Wednesday, the 14th of February, 2024. After when the issue of the missing of this Chenedu came, the police swiftly get into the matter, investigate, and then a suspect was apprehended. The suspect definitely you know, helped the police during the course of the investigation. And then the police were able to get admission from the suspect. He confessed of doing the act. I first told the police that he used a hammer. And the hammer he used is this hammer. So he led the police to recover this hammer based on his own confession. He hit the disease with this hammer on the neck, at the back of the neck. So you heard the police officer talking about how she was unalived and the man who is responsible for her passing, who has admitted to doing it, and he actually worked for her. And they had gone out to a property that she had purchased, or rather the land that she had purchased, and that is where he ended her life. Aside from the two that we just saw videos of, there are also four others. Sister Veronica Histed was a content creator and she would go around the Gambia and she would shine a light on what she considered to or what was reported to be unsafe foods. That in and of itself is also a dangerous thing to do when you are out there on the continent and you are highlighting um, deficiencies 
then you are messing with that area's uh, financial means. So you have to be really careful. She was considered to be an agitator uh, by the people in the Gambia. There was also reports of her home being broken into prior to her also unaliving in very suspicious ways. Sister Mary Gaskin, she actually owned a salon where she was uh, a loctician. She also was involved with a Gambian man. She didn't show up to work one day. Her workers were concerned. They did a wellness check and they found her unalived in her home. Sister Audrey Davis was engaged to marry a Gambian man and she was going to be married within two weeks. She had a home that she had built out there. She had purchased chickens. She too ended up unalived under suspicious circumstances. And there is also reports that her fiance is living in her home. Dr. Beverly Allen, another sister who was out there doing great things, building her own home, buying land, also ends up unalived under suspicious circumstances. So we have all of these sisters out here. And this is a cautionary tale as an African woman speaking. The dynamic is different on the continent. If you are a woman who is successful and you elect to move and you get involved with somebody on the continent who is not uh, as financially successful or his status isn't at the same level as yours and you end up being the breadwinner, you cannot talk to them crazy. You can't treat them as though they are not equal. You can't talk down to them. You can't disrespect them. You can't disobey them because on the continent, whether or not they're in those conditions, they are still considered to be the man. So you can't be out there talking all crazy and trying to be the dominant in a male dominant continent. They very much fashioned themselves after the Bible. God, man, woman, child. First of all, you don't want to go by yourself. You want to make sure that you establish a community that you can trust. And so if you're moving by yourself as a single woman, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. This false sense of security that you have when you go to another island or another country is really intellectually irresponsible. You have to move with the same level of caution and safety that you would if you were in the hood in America or Canada or anywhere else in the Western world. So thinking that you can go there and still behave the same way you do, still treat these men that are less than the same way you would in your other country is not the way of life on the continent. Just like in the Western world, the older, wealthier men who would probably be your equal are likely not available. So then what you have left are the younger ones who don't have a lot going on for themselves, who don't even have running water. But there are so many reports of sisters saying, oh, I'll go there and I'll take care of them. Oh, I'll go there and make that home ours. I'll feed him. And these are the kinds of comments that are coming through when you see the video. And that's just an example of a fine chocolate brother because there are reports that there are many. It is vast that look like this brother. And so you, you hear these women saying this and making these comments, but this is not the comments they would make on their own area, in their own country. So let this be a lesson to the sisters. Please move with safety. Please understand the dynamics of where you are. This is lack of knowledge on your part. You wanna make sure you know the lay of the land before you decide to 
go there as a single person and live and involve yourself with men out there or even trying to build out there, building businesses. And then you're vlogging and you are outlining deficiencies and you are talking about things that are going on, on in that country. You have to be very careful about what you're dealing with because again, if you don't have the community and you don't have the help and you don't have people around you that you can trust and you're moving by yourself, you are a walking target. Rest in peace to them and to everybody else. Please, please be very, very mindful and careful and ensure that you educate yourself and you're knowledgeable about where you choose to make your life and with whom you choose to make your life with. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this content, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.